If I put something out that I'm like, okay, this is going to be really good and I get bad feedback or bad review, it sometimes notches me down a bit, but it also keeps me going for the next post. It was a shoot of my brother for the magazine, but then I did a little bit of my own spin on it and I put the total descriptive word of my brother. And I put it there and my editor's like, don't post it, you're not gonna get good reviews, like I don't see that going well. I was like, I'm gonna post it and see what happens. And I had someone from Vogue like it, I had someone from Elle like it, and I had someone else from another magazine like it. And I was like, it, that's all I needed was that verification that okay, I'm on the right path to do something awesome with what I've been given. Hi, I'm Emma Tonelato, and I'm the creative director of Leda Magazine. An average week for Emma, that has a lot of coffee in it, too much coffee. It starts with me getting in my car, driving to school, and sitting in Starbucks and either answering emails or going back and forth with my Facebook group for Leda Magazine on updates for the week. And that would proceed on through Friday. My job at Leda is very much, I show up, so we do it on a quarterly basis, I guess you would say. So for the first meeting, I'd show up with my mood boards. So I create all these types of mood boards. I bring it forward and I say, this is what's in. This is what I think we should do. This is the direction I think we should go in. And we, we discuss and we bounce ideas back and forth. And I talk to the person who's in charge of fashion and we kind of figure out a plan. Um, and then from that point on, I just make sure that everything is running smoothly and I'm in charge of the cover shoot. So I take whatever they want, whatever they envision, and I make it happen. The moment that triggered my path in being a photographer and digital creator would have to be when I first did this, my first fashion photo shoot, and it was my submission into Ryerson University. And I did it of my stepsister in a Danier leather jacket. But that kind of just propelled me forward in fashion and photography and kind of wanted to go in that route. I used to be a competitive swimmer, so I swam for 15 years, and then I represented Canada at the World Life Saving Games in 2016. So that was my hobby for a very long time, and then once that left, I kind of got way more into photography and fashion and all that type of stuff. I'm really big on authenticity and being unique with all my images. So I like to do a ton of research on my subject before I get them in a shoot. And I try to base my shoot, whether it's portraiture or fashion, around that person. And I'll usually ask them a series of questions about who they are, what they're looking for, what they want, and kind of go from there. I just try to make sure that everything's as unique and authentic as possible. And that's the best way to do it because then the client's happy and you come out with a great shoot. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. They'll all be in the description below. And I totally forgot what all my Instagram handles were, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh.